Typhoon Yolanda hit, we were 83 kilometers north of Tacloban. That's where the eye of the storm really hit. We didn't understand how serious it was because we had no TV, no radios. We could hear our people talking that apparently this will be a very bad storm. From the stories that we heard from people, it was a very scary time. They saw the waves coming in and it was just panic. Like they just ran through the hills there. And the next thing they saw is you know, the surge of water coming in and houses were just destroyed. My name is Philly Tanoha and I'm married to Fred. I was born and raised in the Philippines and immigrated to Canada in 1974. And 30 years later, in 2004, we came to the Philippines for a visit and God opened our heart to the needs of the people. So when Typhoon Yolanda came, OMF at that time made a commitment to help in the area uh, by building houses. So there was a rehabilitation project team and also our team, which is the church planting team, was helping them out. We have been able to connect with several families, having Bible studies with them in the village of Pinalanga. Uh, we have two families that have opened their homes to our Bible study. We have uh, children's ministry, and Fred, my husband, is trying to start a men's ministry as well. The people in this area, they relied on the coconut uh, trees mainly. That was their regular source of income. But because they are much or almost all the coconut trees here were destroyed by the typhoon, that income is gone. And so people, the local people are doing a lot of fishing now to provide for themselves and whatever extra catch that they have, they sell it to the local people. And at the same time, the rehabilitation project has introduced the seaweed farming uh, in the village of Binokihan. And mostly ladies are involved there, and most of them are members of our Bible studies. The rehabilitation project is also making uh, boats, and this boat will be used by the ladies who are involved in the seaweed farming. So through the work that we are doing here, we hope that the people in this area will see the goodness of the Lord and that their lives, their broken lives that were destroyed because of typhoon, of the typhoon Yolanda will be rebuilt, but not just the physical side, but most especially is their spiritual side.